Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. After the news that a tripartite agreement was signed to jointly restrict the shipment of advanced photolithography machines, many people believed that the development of China's chip industry would be seriously affected. After all, in the current international lithography machine market, companies from the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands together account for more than 90% of the market share. The most important thing is that currently only ASML in the Netherlands can ship EUV lithography machines used to produce advanced chips in semiconductor technology. In a sense, according to current semiconductor technology, it is basically impossible to produce chips below 5 nanometers without EUV lithography machines. Just when Biden was feeling confident about the tripartite agreement, ASML president Wen Kenning said directly, China has 1.4 billion people, many of whom are very smart. If the United States restricts China's access to EUV lithography machines, China will manufacture them independently when it needs to use EUV lithography machines. However, Biden did not take Wen Kenning's warning to heart and instead blindly expanded the scope of the chip ban. After restricting the shipment of lithography machines and other equipment, the United States has restricted the shipment of artificial intelligence AI chips. Even though U.S. Commerce Secretary Raimondo admitted that the chip ban would have an impact on the interests of U.S. chip companies during his visit to China, he still chose to restrict the shipment of advanced chips. What Biden did not expect was that by restricting the shipment of advanced chips, China could independently manufacture advanced chips. And by restricting the shipment of lithography machines, China could also independently manufacture lithography machines for use. Due to the Wassenaar Agreement, ASML is restricted from shipping EUV lithography machines to the Chinese market. Even though the EUV lithography machine purchase agreement between SMIC and ASML has been signed, ASML still has not shipped EUV lithography machines to SMIC. It is precisely because of the lack of EUV lithography machines that SMIC has been unable to put into mass production even if it has mastered the 7 nanometers process technology. Even the research and development of 5 nanometers process technology has been greatly affected by this. It can be said that EUV lithography machines have always been a big mountain lying on the head of Chinese chip companies. If they cannot cross this mountain, it will basically be difficult to manufacture the world's top-level chips. Recently, good news about domestic EUV lithography machines has been spreading. For example, Chengchun Institute of Optics and Mechanics has previously completed the production of light source engineering prototypes for EUV lithography machines, and Harbin Institute of Technology has made breakthroughs in the light source of EUV lithography machines. Chinese technology companies such as Huawei have also made some breakthroughs in EUV lithography machines. What is unexpected is that China has recently completed the plan for a new photolithography factory and has begun construction. This means that China is very likely to achieve overtaking in EUV lithography machines or to complete the manufacturing of EUV lithography machines in another way. According to the latest news, Tsinghua University suddenly announced recently that it has achieved a major breakthrough in the SSMB program, and the project has now been approved and constructed. After the news came out, it attracted widespread attention at home and abroad. Some foreign media also said 
China's new photolithography factory plan has been released. There are currently four main types of EUV lithography machines that have been explored, namely SSMB, LPP, SR, and SRFFEL. ASML uses the LPP mode, which can produce 13.5 nanometers EUB light sources. The SSMB mode achieved by Tsinghua University is a step further in technology compared to the LPP mode and can produce electron beams below 1 nanometer. Tsinghua University has made considerable progress in SSMB technology before, but the outside world has always believed that this is a development at the conceptual level and there's still a long way to go before practical application. What kind of effect can this model ultimately achieve? Whether it is fatally flawed in some way is unknown. What people didn't expect is that Tsinghua University had just launched its first SSMB beam in March this year, but recently there was news that the project had been approved and construction started. This method is called a photolithography master machine manufacturing solution. The light source generated can reach different regular beams after being screened and can then be connected to photolithography machines of different specifications. Different from the EUV lithography machines currently manufactured by ASML, the lithography model achieved by Tsinghua University this time is more like directly building a factory, rather than building a machine and then installing the machine in different factories like ASML. There is a very vivid saying that ASML's photolithography machine is like a sniper rifle. Although it can hit targets 1,000 meters away, many problems and accidents will occur. China's photolithography model this time is like creating a 1,000-meter-long gun, which can ensure that there will be no accidents. Although China's photolithography model will be more expensive and lack certain convenience, it has a very powerful advantage, that is, the photon beam can be screened, and it also has more powerful capabilities in high-end chip manufacturing. Advantage, after all, the SSMB mode can produce a 1 nanometer beam, which is currently not possible with ASML. There is no doubt that China's breakthroughs in lithography technology have worried the United States and the Netherlands. China can still produce advanced chips despite the lack of EUV lithography machines. Once China completes the development of EUV lithography machines, if manufacturing solves the problem of photolithography process, the development of China's chip industry will enter a fast lane. In this regard, some foreign media directly stated, China's new lithography factory plan has been released, and the restrictions on lithography machines implemented by the United States are completely over.